figuring out how to attach my warm window curtains to the walls of the van has been a bit of a struggle. But today I wanna to share a quick tip that I've come up with to at least attach it to the rear doors of the van. Hi, I'm Debbie, and I make videos about travel in our camper van. John and I travel in a short sprinter van, but whatever your ride, we would love you to come along. Today I'm starting a new series of short videos that I'll post whenever I have an idea that I think would help our fellow travelers. While I always try to share tips in my longer videos, sometimes they get buried, and so this way I hope they'll be more accessible and ready for people who really don't want to travel with us. So, warm window curtains. I've made two videos about warm window curtains and I'll put the links to those in the description box below. But warm window fabric is a trademarked fabric that is great at insulating for both cold and warm. They do a great job in our camper van, but trying to get them affixed to the walls in some way, the rear windows were probably the most problematic. But warm window fabric is this multi-layered fabric there's a there's a kind of a, a cloth layer then there's a layer of fleece and then there's some kind of looks like mylar or something and then there's another layer of fleece that has some other kind of metallic something inside of it and then I back that all with what whatever favorite cotton fabric you like I like black because it hides all the imperfections of my sewing my tip is using fishing magnets. Now we call these fishing magnets because when you get the really big ones and you tie a rope around it, you can throw it into a lake or a, a stream or something and it will pull out ferrous metals. And so sometimes people find interesting things in the bottoms of ponds. But I, I found these little ones and I've attached four of those to the metallic part of the rear of our doors. Now our camper van, our Pleasure Way Ascent has plastic kind of a plastic frame which makes it very difficult to attach anything to it but the rear doors have metal around the outside and so I've had attached four of these in different locations and then I've made some I made some buttonholes and just hooked the buttonholes through the fishing magnet loop and it holds it really securely the other thing I've messed around with was uh, the back curtain was whether to have it one full big wide piece of fabric or separate it in two so you could actually open the doors independently. And while it's nice to be able to open the doors independently, it's much nicer to have a full width of fabric because it really helps to keep out the drafts that come in through the rear doors. And if the longer you can make it all the way from the top and below where the bed where it where it hit the bed anything you can do to cover up that gap is really helpful in keeping out the cold air i hope that has either helped you or maybe jogged something in your own brain that gives you an idea of how you can handle the treatment of warm windows in your camper van or your trailer or however you travel we'll see you next week when we'll have a full-length video of our recent travels to the desert i want to show you guys who are afraid of making mistakes that I just took a scrap of that I had left over from one of my other experiments and then stitched together another piece to it. So you can easily stitch fabric together so you don't waste any of this because it is expensive.